Welcome to the Friday, December 19th edition of the Connell Newscast. I'm Nate Kaufman. And I'm Taylor Aker. The American Red Cross is going to be here on Wednesday, January 7th from 8.30 a.m. to 2.15 p.m. If you are at least 17 years old and able to donate blood, please do. Every little bit counts and you can save up to three lives from one donation. Make sure you come in and sign up in the library when school resumes. Last weekend, the annual snowball dance was held. Our very own Katie Marshall was there to cover the story. Thanks, Nate. There was a lot of hype headed into the winter masquerade or snowball. So we asked some students who attended how the event lived up to the hype. My favorite part of the dance was when they played Who Let the Dogs Out because it was so random and fun. The sophomore class in ASHA put a lot of hard work into the event. But as with any event, there's always those who thought that things could have gone better. I did not enjoy snowball that much this year. I felt as if the DJ did not do a good job playing new songs. I did like the punch, and that was about it. For me, the most memorable part of snowball was dancing. Of course, those are just opinions, and there's always next year to do it differently. Most students, however, reported that they had a great time. All in all, snowball was a blast. As always, an event to remember. That it was, Katie. I know I had a good time. Now we go to sports with Josh Beckhusen. Thanks, Nate. This week in sports, we're going to take you into the world of co-order gymnastics with Coach Kim Nichols. Kim Nichols is not only a dedicated science teacher here at CHS, but she is also a fantastic gymnastics coach. We asked Coach Nichols how she would compare this year's team to the ones in the past. Well, this is only my second year um, taking over the team. I haven't coached for a while at the high school level. So to compare against um, the last few years is difficult for me, but compared to last year, I would say that even though we don't have this one awesome standout individual, we have a lot of depth in our program this year. Um, the juniors in particular, we have a lot of juniors who have experience and are solid gymnast hog competitors. So. I try to make sure everyone's really positive at practice and there's no negative emotion. I think we'll do as good as we were last year. We have a couple new girls. There's a lot of young people, so hopefully by the time we get older, we'll be a really good team. Nichols believes that the girls work best on the floor because it's a way to express themselves. Um, I like to have my gymnasts walk away from the season with a, a good feeling, a positive attitude, um, self-confidence, and just a feeling of having been part of something that was meaningful, a team. In addition to being the gymnastics coach for the winter season, she also works the, with the girls all year round to improve their skills. It's certainly nice to see the gymnastics team in action again this winter. How are the other co-order sports doing, Josh? I'm glad you asked. In Cardinal Sports this week, both boys and girls basketball teams were in action on Tuesday. The boys varsity team destroyed Quincy with a score of co-order 64, Quincy 34. The girls varsity team was not so lucky, however, losing to Battle Creek Central by a score of 53 to 41. The gymnastics squad opened up their first home meet with a close loss to Porter Central with a score of 127 to 115. Overall, it was a good week in sport, Cardinal sports. Beating Quincy is always nice. Back to you, Nate. Thanks, Josh. I hate Quincy. Now our friendly reporter, Caitlin Hook, is going to tell us about a student who some say is in over his head. Paul Schaefer is an 18-year-old senior at Coldwater High School. Paul May seems to you like a normal teenager enjoying his senior year. But in reality, he is very far from that. Paul has been married for two months. I asked Paul how he came to be married. Um, as a member of the Army, I have a high chance of being deployed. So we decided to get married as kind of a security thing. And I was living with her, so kind of the right thing to do. Paul also recently discovered that he has a baby on the way. Along with these two big events under his belt, Paul is also a member of the Army Reserve. Sounds like Paul is doing pretty well given the circumstances. This is Caitlin Hook reporting to you here from the boys' lab room. Back to you, Nate. Thanks, Caitlin. It sure sounds to me like Paul has a lot on his plate. Good luck, Paul. Now let's see what really grinds Anna's gears. Thanks, Nate. Today I'd like to address an issue that seems to be sweeping the school, the issue of unnecessarily large backpacks. Some of the backpacks that kids use today are large enough to take someone out. I mean, seriously, does anyone need a backpack that big? Students are being shoved into lockers, dropping their books, and arriving late to class, all due to these massive book bags. If the problem continues to escalate, fights may break out, bones may be broken, and the in-school room will become overpopulated. The school provides a locker for a purpose, a place to put your books and folders. And I'd say this to those who insist on carrying these extremely large backpacks. Use it, people. 
I couldn't even begin to count the number of times I was late to my first hour last year because of these people. Finally fed up with my immense amount of tardies, Mr. Henry gave me a slip for in school. True story. I see this problem mainly with the underclassmen. Perhaps they still haven't figured out how to work their combination. Or possibly still don't even know where their locker is. Either way, this is a message to you, the underclassmen of CHS, use your locker. Along with the New Year's comes New Year's resolutions. We sent Andrew Kelly, Amy Hilbert, and Zach Van Stone to interview students and ask them what their New Year's resolutions are. Uh, my New Year's resolution is to catch as many fish as I can and not fall through the ice. My New Year's resolution is to get the grades on Zangle sooner in 09. Um, I think my New Year's resolution would be to get stronger for track. Um, probably to get good grades in my classes and also to get a job so I get money for college. My New Year's resolution is to laugh a little more and enjoy life a little bit more. This has been the Cardinal Newscast. I'm Taylor Aker. And I'm Nate Kaufman. We hope you all have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.